for beginners. The art and science Listen behind to what he about to tell Jewish you. numerology. Listen. We all know that language and therefore words carry power. We just see that from the fact that uh, it's the key to communication, the communication of our feelings to one another, whether it's from the earliest child, our childhood formative years, communication of love, also unfortunately the communication of anger. Write it down. So words carry power. They carry our expression, they carry our intentions, they carry our personality, our uh, Watch the whole video. Our passion, learn. our emotions and so on. And words are made up of letters. And very often, um, though we use this tool at our disposal all the time, it's called communicating, speaking, crying, singing, all the different forms of uh, expression of words, mm -hmm. whether it's through speaking or also through writing, yep. which is also words. We don't often pay attention to the exact science and art that lies behind these words. So in truth is the discussion of numerology or the Hebrew word gematria, which comes from, an, uh, from a, um, a Greek geometria, which is geometry. Essentially, it's the study of numbers. Yeah. But gematria particularly refers to uh, the power and the energy that lies in the numbers that correspond to each letter, which I shall soon explain. But I think it's important to first discuss what letters and words are in general. Because I said, though we use words all the time, as I'm doing right now, and we use them hopefully for good purposes, but we also sometimes use them for not for unhealthy purposes, destructive ones. We have to realize that words are energy. Words are energy. As a matter of fact, the word for words in Hebrew, which is a mila, is made up of oasis. Words are made up of letters. Every word is made up of letters. And the word ois in Hebrew comes from the word osa boiker. And the morning has arrived, has risen, the dawn has risen. The morning has arrived. I'm show you a couple so more videos ice on refers to actual an arrival. We call it transmission. It's a transmission of energy. So though a letter on its own is hollow, you just have an A, a B, a C, a D. But if you combine the letters, let's say you combine the word, the letter G O O D, it takes on a whole different meaning more than the sum of the parts, because each of the letters has its particular energy, and combining them creates a new energy. A new synergy, you can say, which conveys the feelings that are conveyed when you say the word good. You say, in that. Now, it's important also to point out that I'm going to be speaking primarily about Hebrew language, because that's where gematria really plays a tremendous role. And one of the reasons for that is because, according to Jewish mysticism, the Hebrew language is actually the original of, of all languages. And there are actually books that describe how all languages evolved and originated from its original Hebrew. That's why you have Aleph, Bet, A, B, and you have the equivalent in not only so Latin languages, all languages, also in other languages. That all from Hebrew from languages. Hebrew. Hebrew is considered to be the pure language, the language of metaphor, the language that the divine used to create existence. And thus, the language, the letters and the words take on a whole different, um, a, a different uh, dimension because what they are doing is actually conveying the power that lies the power of creation, the power you. of, of uh, all other uh, languages the force of come from the Hebrew language. Each thing that's named by so a what's certain that telling you? or combination of words, which is why we say, for example, when comments. we ask for a for shlema, for a blessing, for health, for someone who's this been ill. This is part one. I'm going to show you part two. Their, their name and their mother's Hebrew, their Hebrew name Watch and their the mother's Hebrew name. Why Hebrew name? Because the Hebrew name is seen as the name that channels the soul's power into our beings. And therefore, that Hebrew name carries a particular power. Now, we're not going to just be talking about names here and about letters, but I need to begin with that because that's Part an introduction to understand the significance of the gematria within those letters.